shalom unto all people of love, love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. May the Lord's face shine ever so brightly upon you, and may you be enveloped by his comfort like uh, your warmest blanket. Behold in this video the Lord strong and mighty one who shall change the earth, one who shall save us from oblivion as it has been foretold. So welcome to this channel, the only Kingdom Age channel on YouTube, and welcome for the deciphering of the fullness of Kingdom Age prophecy all in one episode. So get ready to blast off to higher heights than you ever thought were ever humanly possible. For the Lord's word has come, and he has removed this, the gross darkness, the veil has been ripped exactly as it has been foretold. And in these days, all the disguises are off, the, the Clark Kent mentality of what was once yesteryear shall be no more as a new uniform comes, a new understanding of love and the unconditionality of it. For love is not even love unless it is unconditional, as prophecy herein does so easily prove. And the strong and mighty one that was foretold was not Superman, but this shall be a Superman story. It was the Superman of the Bible. Who was that? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you chapter and verse all the way along. So get ready to jump over the mountains of misunderstandings, to pull back all the fusion of wasted smoke that uh, can never prosper, to cut through the chase and get to the point where you can just fly and take off like you've never done before. For we shall go to a new place, a new hour, a new time where Lady Liberty holds her lamp of illumination and enlightenment up so very, very high and get prepared to reach for the skies, for there we shall, even though we might try to reach the stars, we shall at least capture the moon. And as we fall, the Lord will pick us up, and the Superman of all men has come and gone and will come again, Emmanuel, God with us, a rising Lamb of God, who is the foretold Good Shepherd, over all the flocks of men, and that is the greatest superman of them all, for he is the one that brings forth guidance. He never condemned one person, people. He forgave everybody, and seventy times seventy, forgiveness was, is, and always shall be the, the law. Love has no boundaries. Love transcends. Love fixes problems, so making a crooked path straight to fix us from uh, reaching a place where uh, we cannot go and to open ways that were closed so that uh, not by power though, not by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord shall all this be done. So get ready. I'm going to fill in lots of blanks right now. And when all is said and done, when everything is said, it's love alone who shall save the day. And his name is Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, who is Christ our Lord. And uh, my name is Daniel from uh, the north of Canada. Isaiah 41 predicted one would come to be a messenger from the north unto Israel, that they had inherited their kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31. So get ready for lots of uh, stuff to be connected in a fresh, brand new way that's very understandable to anyone. Even if they're brain dead, they would be able to understand me. It's going to be so plainly written on the tablet so that all that readeth it may run, because this is going to be about a writer. 
So let's uh, get our perspective on things in a, a way that only God could uh, explain. And if what I am explaining makes sense, then you know I have been inspired by him without question. And Merry, Merry Christmas at this time of year, 2021. And let the wise understand that he who is Emmanuel, our Lord God with us, he is the rose of Sharon, and how beautiful does he shine. So let even the rocks cry out his glory, and his love and his honor has come to be magnified, and let all be at awe as that majesty of majesty stands tall, and arises. Uh, he is the rock of the ages. So get ready for to be challenged by your own religiosity. Well, here I am before I got my hair cut. And I'm going to let you listen to, uh, this is the very first time I've ever given the Kingdom Age Covenant. It is written that a writer would come people line by line, precept by precept, uh, would the strong and mighty one uh, come uh, line by line, precept by precept, a writer, the writer of Deuteronomy 18, 18, Moses said, one like him, a writer and a covenant giver. I have given the covenant. And you're about to hear it uh, originally as I first gave it. And it was all off the top of my head. The Lord has inspired me. Uh, praise the Lord. And a writer, uh, Habakkuk 2, uh, line by line, uh, the, uh, the vision was written for the appointed time at the end so that all that readeth it uh, uh, would run. A writer, a vision of a writer bringing God's best good news. So get ready and here, here's the good news. And uh, this is just going to last a few minutes and then I'm going to connect absolutely all of the dots of prophecy. And if you don't want to hear me uh, give the covenant again, skip this if you don't want, if you want. But check out, uh, this is going to last a about uh, 10 minutes, and uh, I've got to reproduce it in uh, fullness. So love from love, hope from hope, and I hope that you will in, in, enjoy now. So uh, here, here, we, uh, here we go. It's kind of funny. I've uh, grown this hair long for a bunch of years. I was trying to get Will Ferrell to come and do... Uh, I love Will Ferrell. Everybody love everybody. Saturdays everybody love everybody. Jesus, but... Uh, I can finally get a haircut because... And I, I did. It was too this, hot. Uh, kind of like when I was... Right after I made this video, I, <coughs> I cut it. To honor uh, the, the Hebrew prophets, uh, because without the Hebrew prophets, this world would be in bad trouble. We'd be in trouble. Prophecy hasn't been understood like it should be, and now that the Lord... All has, the world uh, has been covered by gross darkness. All mankind, the Bible says so. What his word Blindness. Actually says. We have so much overflow. Can't see the forest for the trees. Uh, Good things that are going to happen. I we got the kingdom age rising, people. Um, our excited carpenter of the ages actually now he invites ignorance about himself through his newly activated new His covenant, covenant says, no, no one shall need to be taught about me anymore, says the, the Lord God. Only Jeremiah 31. For all end time people. There was a promise in there that had to be kept. Jeremiah 31 1. Had to come for it. In the latter days, it says so. To the world's faith shall hear my voice of love. Then there shall be only one flock and only one shepherd. John 10. All. Because everything involving any divine unfinished business automatically opens up the closed cat cannons of my Malachi 3 1. It's it the message that, that prepares the Lord's way. 12. Verses 9 to 13 said that it would and predicted that it would open up again. At says it was end. only closed the until the end, says open. God. Only in that way could his spirit of prophecy bring forth the restoration of his new covenant. Acts 3 uh, 21 has been foretold so that he would Matthew not 17 alive 11, the great restoration. Children. And Lord says, By my dove of love through Jeremiah the prophet. I promised almost 3,000 years Jeremiah ago. Jeremiah is the only kingdom age of prophet. David, that promised covenant in the latter days, according to my written word in Jeremiah 30, verse 24. 
Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over those of Israel and all people, now says, thus saith the Lord, in these days of my end time revelator, Daniel, who has revealed the lawless one as Paul's Morgue official, foretold. sword swallower. John 3.16's truest meaning can finally be revealed since the mystery of Revelation 10 is finally over as foretold. So his servant Daniel, the um, Isaiah 49, the declaring, that's Lord, all Elijah, that I promise you. people were so beloved by God that he gave his own love. So whosoever believes in love should not perish but have everlasting life. Nor has any religion ever been necessary for anyone. For everyone who loves has been born of God. This is the shattering God of the God power of the holy love. people. Daniel the 12, 7. John. The spirit of our majesty of majesties, the lion It's beating of the sword into the, into the says, sickle. Blessed it's a change. Embracing my foretold message that I send by my messenger. The wheat not Malachi being able to grow one. with the tares no Daniel more. A change. For I make an oath of love to those of all He's revealing his unconditional love, which has been considered heresy, which has been the truest truth of all. No more. Because I am revealing myself to as being unconditional love over all people, the Lord says, as it was written, there shall be no more need for anyone to learn anything more about my merciful once you know he's all merciful Crowns and all loving are those we can stop condemning like each other and ourselves which and just love our lord god since jeremiah has long been in my glory's brightest presence by my messenger of malachi's prophecy as the living word of the lord the messenger god to israel almighty, isaiah 41 giving the sons and daughters that they've inherited all mankind and isaiah 54 3 says so over all people because everyone has always been loved with an everlasting love hear the word of adonai o children of israel and judah for it's time for people to rejoice and to dance before their everlasting heavenly father for by humanity's unchanging covenant of their everlasting life's salvation, their mourning shall now become joy as they are comforted so they will trade in their sorrows for happiness. There is great hope for everyone's future, declares the, the word. hope is amazing. So once more I speak the words of Jeremiah over Zion because I am blessing their people by restoring their spiritual fortunes by ridding them of all religious bondage as I remove the yoke from their necks. Now can I refresh the weary as I bring my strength to the weak. Since my mystery is over, I can openly Revelation give my 10, law to cover the hearts it. of all those who love, which has been the people of all Says races and over. of all tribes. Only the loveless shall perish by their blasphemy of my spirit of love. Send themselves the to their says, own house. I will be the God of those of love, and they shall be my people with all rights, all privileges, as they evermore embrace by faith the absolute assurance that they have inherited eternal life here and now, and Praise shall be the saved Lord. from the second death. For it is written that if these days were not cut short, Matthew no flesh would be saved in the book of Matthew. Because there are absolutely no conditions in this new covenant, there's absolutely nothing that anyone has to do or needs to believe in in order for them to be included all within people, all this flesh. unbreakable rock I'm prove it in this video. judgment day promise. Then his latter day Daniel equality. Prophet it's all about equality of man before God. Revealing that is the truest truth. It's always all been there. People, nobody ever has to know anything more about him, which destroys in the year 2020 all man made. This was recorded in 2020. Desolate religions that are now ever more obsolete. Hebrews, uh, 8. Hebrews 8 proclaims the same thing. So did Muhammad. The mouth of Paul the Apostle. For all covenants that went before the new covenant are obsolete, thus saith the apostle of God. Here, Muhammad said this people, he said, my people, 
there shall be in the hadith there shall be nothing left of the Quran except its outward form and my people shall be called by another name that sounds like Islam and it is Chrislam. Chrislam is the name God has given Israel now that they have received their kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31 and uh, man I've given that covenant uh, a couple thousand times so far and the bottom line is uh, Muhammad was prophesying the same thing that uh, Hebrews 8, Paul uh, writes that when the covenant comes, God saying, I will be your God, you will be my people, I will forgive your iniquity, I will never remember it, I'll write my love and law on your hearts. And beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me, the all shall know me from the least to the greatest. That is the covenant that has always been the kingdom age covenant that God is going to use to tear down all kingdoms of man's imagination, all uh, not built on his totally unconditional love, because we've all been wired wrong. We've all been wired to actually believe that God's love for us has been conditional. So our love has only been conditional. Only when that veil is ripped will our love start being unconditional as his is. For ye are beloved of everlasting love, who is now inviting all men from all faiths to watch YouTube's video called Apocalypse. It is finished by Shiasa of House of Beloved. Revelation 12, lady. I'm going to have a video on that says, one of these days. Blessed are those preparing for my return by opening their hearts to love's leading that now reveals my latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. Known as Elijah, Shiloh, and prophecy, Joshua, and poetry, free for the Zechariah 3. Donations from the rich. It's foretold by the, the original prophet of the lion's den that another Daniel walking with his spiritual gift of prophecy would arise at the end Daniel 12 be embracing 13 his if people will believe it my the word of God means something Malachi people three, to prepare my way says well why does it say what it say <laughs> valuing my spirit's absolute truth for my word of glory's inspiration foretold in Isaiah 49 verse 6 uh, it it is too small a thing for Daniel to only restore those of Israel. For that reason, as I, it is written, I shall be a light to the Gentiles, Elijah people. Shall also become His a magnificent love. light of love to the Gentiles. It's of all about nations. Christ alone. So my prophesied salvation of absolute forgiveness may reach every corner of the circle of earth. Only this revelation alone could cause my obedient to become survivors in these last days. They can inherit. This is the everlasting gospel of his everlasting covenant that has never been understood correctly, people. The Lord has given me uh, open-eyed visions. I am Elijah. So hear the word of God. My kingdom age pro promise of Isaiah 2's foreseen age of peace that is right Isaiah around the two. corner, people. The latter-day mountain, I am the writer of. I've got uh, uh, 2,000 videos on one channel, and I'll have the same uh, on the other very shortly. As the ways of war are forgotten evermore by mankind, then the spirit of prophecy sweetly said, Blessed are those emailing Daniel for Christ's last testament, because his eyes were... You know what? I'm going to stop right there because uh, I'm going to turn this around here for a second. Hi. Oh, it's too dark for you to see me. So I'll be right back and we're going to do one of these. <laughs> and most blessed are all those who will be able to visualize Christ, the Savior, our Redeemer, Friend, King of Kings, Emmanuel, coming on the great white cloud of Matthew 24, which is the great white cloud of Revelation 14 for the writer of his everlasting gospel, the flying scroll of Zechariah 5. Line by line, his strong and mighty one of scripture, Isaiah 28. And so praise the Lord and with the, uh, your, the eyes of your mind, imagine Christ coming and bringing his peace, the most perfect preparation of his peace, which is his kingdom age covenant 
foretold to tear down all the kingdoms of man uh, in uh, Jeremiah one ten and Haggai 2.2. 2. Read it, people. It says so. And uh, it is undisputable. So I'm going to turn things up a notch here. Prepare for the strong and mighty one of the Spirit, which is the Lord God uh, only. I'm just... Uh, I'm just a, a guy out here having fun recording truth as much as I can. Welcome to my world, a world of festering fears and tears. Mickey and many have always had it right. Only perfect love can cast away fear. This program is about the Lord's strong and mighty one. And like that, I'm going to connect all the dots on the action of the changes to bring forth the kingdom age. And it's going to be an action, something that happens. And I'm going to weave through all the veil, rip it apart layer by layer, precept by precept, with the Lord strong and mighty one of patience. Come, one who would actually believe he himself could change this whole world and convert it to his understanding of our beloved's love of the ages. And once I had that into my heart, I knew that I can't change the world, but he can. That is his name. And I will prove this day that at his name shall every knee bow and shall every tongue confess that he is Lord of all. And we got to cut through the confusion because love is transcendent. Love knows no boundaries. Love goes wherever it can always without relenting. It does not recede unless we let it. Love only really wants to go forth. And love isn't even love until it's given away. Love refreshes. Love enlightens. Love opens our hearts to new challenges, to new mercies bestowed unto people who deserve it not, just as we have not deserved anything that the Lord gives us. Love is all in all. Our Lord of love he is our majesty of majesties, and we are a royal people, peculiar. And his word of wisdom and love comes forth in this hour to shake and bake our society and cut down all the peoples of the world who will listen to its message so that this world will be free to move forward and not be stagnant and just existing until we implode by the oblivion of Matthew 24, 22, that Christ uh, said that unless these days were cut short by his word coming anew, Dan Daniel uh, 12, 9 said his word was only closed until the time of the end for his message of Malachi 3, one that would prepare his way. Uh, it is the action of his word coming forth exactly as it is foretold by the messenger unto Israel that they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3 says so. Why? Because the kingdom age covenant coming that makes all faith uh, as it has been obsolete to begin the kick, kick start the kingdom age, or otherwise it could not be, that it will happen not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of love, the spirit of prophecy that has prepared a way and made a way where there has seemed to be no way. If only people will believe that peace is only found in love alone and that all other peace is distortional, as is all faith. We've all been seen through a glass darkly. So it's time to turn the tables. The strong and mighty one uh, the writer, the covenant giver uh, of the word of God has come. I am one called Shiloh, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine. The alcoholic of Habakkuk too, 
one transgressed by one, but the just shall live by my kingdom age faith. And I shall be as hell and shall never be satisfied as I embrace all people of my of the earth unto myself and to people like the Pope. And you watch, I will be known by the the see the wheat and the tares can't grow together anymore. Because it's a night and day difference in understanding once the veil of love is pulled back. Once that's pulled back, it's like this, the chain. So here's the thing. Why won't the wheat and the tares grow together? Because the truest truth that the mighty and strong one would bring forth has been heresy, heresy, false prophet, false heresy. Ugh. One of those. And religious people cannot hear it. And meanwhile, they're the uh, tares. I'm the wheat. The wheat who fully uh, lets people know that to be wheat, you have to have unconditional love or your love isn't even love. You're deceived, self-deceived. You've leaned onto your own understandings when the word of God declared that we should not do that. There is no love unless love is given away. And if we let it wax cold and become cold and let it die, then we end up in the land of the walking dead. Born again's never been the belief squat. It's always been to keep your love light on. Jesus said you can't even tell who's born again. It's as the wind love. You don't know where it blows. He says, to be born again, you must be as a little child with your love as a verb, alive, moving, in motion, going forward. Now, if it's two steps forward, one steps back, you're still going in the right direction. But it's got to be alive, the light of God in us. That is God living in us. That is the full, that's, that's um, the Holy Ghost spark in each and every one of us. We are made in the image of our Father. And people, the revelation that all creation has been groaning for with great expectation is for the revelation of who is the sons and daughters of God. We are angels in the flesh. We've always been. And that is why the word of God uh, says that we shall be sexless as the angels. That's why. Because uh, Jesus said in John 10, we are gods. And uh, the first are last, last are first. And the glory of the Lord's latter house, us, shall be greater than that of the former, the host, because we've been made higher than the angels. And if God threw one person in hell, one person who has their love light on, he would be alive. He promises, I will love you. <laughs> Always. Love doesn't stop loving. It can't. It's all merciful. It's all benevolent. I had to be prepared through craziness in my life to be able to reach the place where I could affect a change the Lord through me. I've had my ups and downs. I've, I've, uh, I, I'm alcoholic, and yet I don't get drunk. And uh, it's been a long time since I've been drunk. I'm disciplined, very disciplined. I don't want to live. The Lord has made a provision of um, perseverance within me, and He has promised me personally that I will have a measure of uh, protection, of uh, preservation. Uh, it is written in Isaiah 41 that I would come to a place where I'd realize everything I've done in life is for vain, uh, for love. Because uh, my wife was schizophrenic. That was a big wall. Uh, no one wants to receive the faith of love, even though it's the truest faith. So get ready for new understandings. And uh, the one who is strong and mighty that would bring forth line by line, precept by precept, one like Moses, a writer and a covenant giver. I have given the kingdom age covenant. And I challenge anybody in religion that knows the Bible, whether it's uh, Abrahamic Jews, Orthodox, Christian Jews, Christians, uh, Protestants, so it doesn't matter. If they will heed the word of Pope Francis, I am the only authorized kingdom age faith 
that merges because he has declared Pope Francis, no word of a lie, that in essence all the three Abrahamic faiths are one and that they all worship the same exact same Lord God and we do. And it's time for the rising brotherhood of man. And if anyone is opposed to that, then they're spitting in the face of Christ's uh, most passionate prayer in Gethsemane for our oneness. And they're spitting in the face of Christ's prophecy, uh, Christ himself indeed, that um, he would arise as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. People, the, 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 the things in the word of God that comes are this. Uh, and you're going to enjoy what's coming, man. I've, I've, I've got new revelation. But here is the truest truth. That the action in the Bible is the sickle of Revelation 14 going into the earth to reap it. That is the action of his covenant being given to everyone. To remove the gross darkness. The action of removing all distortional understanding so we don't so that we can shine as the stars as Daniel 12 says and the action of beating the sword into the spirit the sword of pre love's understanding of its unconditionality which was the sword it's time to replace it with the sickle and I bring forth the sickle of Amos 9 revealing that Christ indeed has always been the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper and it's the action of, of the word uh, of love in action. As a, we must leave the land of the walking dead where our love is died and we're on the road to perish and committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, being like a um, desensitized, being like a frog sitting in hot water that's slowly cooking up until it's too late and the, there's no love left at all. So we ha must leave the land of the walking dead. Quit uh, having our love just be a noun. Get it back to being a verb in motion. Otherwise, we have the form of godliness, but we deny the power of love. But it's the action of the wheat not being able to grow with the uh, tares. And it's the action of the sword being beat into the... And it's the action of the gross darkness uh, being ripped away as the son of love and righteousness arises to kickstart his kingdom age, uh, just as it is foretold in Isaiah 60 and 61. And the good news is his love through us, if we will get on this uh, love, his love through us will save this here earth. So come on back for this next one. It's you ain't even going to believe it. So love from love, hope from hope, and I praise God for love everlasting who he is. And uh, my name is Daniel Fletcher Owsley. I am Elijah. I am Shiloh, the alcoholic of Genesis 49, 12. And don't be jumping up and down saying, Jesus is Shiloh. I thought that all myself until I realized he wasn't an alcoholic. He didn't have eyes red and dull of wine. He made wine. Love you. <laughs> Love you.